Hello, I'm Marcia Berry of Berry Nutritional Coaching. Today I'd like to share with you a secret for reaching and maintaining your ideal weight. You know, so many of us these days struggle with our weight and the way our society is set up, actually all of the foods that we're offered are those foods that are the most detrimental to maintaining a healthy weight. So it helps if you know a couple of tips. Before I learned how to eat healthfully, I was carrying around 20 extra pounds that I didn't need. But once I learned the right foods to eat and to avoid, that weight melted away without any particular effort, no diets or particular restrictions. I learned through my personal experience and through my work with clients that there are about 12 secrets that naturally slender people have. 12 ways to reach and maintain your ideal weight. Today I want to share with you one of those secrets. That is, avoid concentrated food. Now what do I mean by concentrated food? I can probably best explain that with a few examples. First of all, let's take cheese. Do you know how much milk it takes to make a single pound of hard cheese? 10 pounds of milk. Now that's concentrated. No wonder it's so fattening. How about juice? Most of us think of juice as a healthy beverage, and it is, but it takes anywhere from three to four oranges squeezed to make an eight ounce glass of orange juice. We're better off if we eat the whole orange, then we get all the benefits of the fiber without all of the calories. Another really concentrated food is chips. If you have a bag of potato chips, you're putting in four times as many potatoes to make a one pound bag of potato chips, four pounds of potatoes. So, you would be eating 400 calories worth of potatoes if you ate the potatoes versus 1,600 calories for the potatoes alone and the chips, not even counting the oil. By the time you add the oil, it's 2,400 calories. So we're best off eating the potatoes versus the potato chips. Maybe one of the most concentrated foods of all is animal protein. Chicken, beef, lamb, pork, all of those meats. Beef is one example. It takes four pounds of grain or more to raise a single pound of beef. So that if you eat a quarter pound hamburger, that's the equivalent of eating a whole pound of grain. Now, if you took a pound of oatmeal or rice and you cooked it, that one pound bag would make 16 servings, enough to feed 16 people. So when you eat a quarter pounder, you're eating the equivalent of 16 servings of grain. Now you don't need to remember all of these proportions and all of these numbers. All you really need to remember are two basic guidelines. First, eat your food in as natural a form as possible. Avoid the processed and refined foods. Second, avoid the animal protein and transition as much as possible to a more plant-based diet. Your waistline will thank you.